the chat on the one side and then like both of our cameras. So I don't know why it doesn't show that to you, but whatever. <laughs> oh yeah, you're like, you um, <laughs> you should just be able to resize it, hopefully. Hi guys. Yeah, you can you can leave the Discord call. I'm not in the Discord call anymore. <laughs> Yeah, I'm dumb now, guys. <laughs> yeah. Does it... That is highly possible, yes. Oh, yeah, because you... Yeah, I can see, like, <laughs> underneath... <laughs> Okay. Yeah. I'll be here. Hi, guys. Yeah, we can hear you. I mean, I can see you. I just don't think chat can see you, but... I can see you on this. I think, can you just resize your camera so that it fits in that little spot? Oh, they can't hear you. They can hear. Okay, go ahead and delete um, the one that says Deb's camera. Go ahead and delete that. And then up at the top where it shows me and then it says like go live, click on go live again to add your camera. Um, or not, sorry, not go live, join. And hopefully that will <laughs> bring the sound back. Boozy stream. I don't have any booze, unfortunately, but. Yes, it's not a proper stream without technical difficulties. So there we go. Dev, if you don't want to mess with it on camera, you can click on the start screen or the break screen. <gasps> oh, hello. Are we in? Are we in? We're in. Hey, choo -choo. Do you want to move the, um, brain. the brain. background oh, image the above hype your camera train. so that it's I'm like sorry. your camera is in Grace, the... Come again. All I can hear is hype train in my ear. Go on. Sorry. Come again. <laughs> Hype train. Yeah, um, so your camera is like above your name right now. So if you want to move the background layer so it's like above your camera on the list of layers, oh, yeah. then it should okay. fit you like into that little slot. Oh, Hello, wow. Hype Trainers. Hi, Hype Train. <laughs> Welcome in. I can't be super loud today. Um, we hear you, we see you, we love it. Great Grace, do you okay. want me to move the background to the top of the list? Guys. Uh, yeah, sure, that, go for it. I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. I don't know which Grace. one is called. 
Grace had done something right. bad. It happens. No, Grace, I did something really bad. It's now gone to the... No, I shouldn't have done that, Grace. Which one okay. did you... <laughs> did you move? Wait, Grace, can you see me? Am I like... No. I can see you. Okay, I don't know if Chad can my, see you, though. On my screen, it's now got the starting screen on top of everything. Okay. I don't want to... I don't want to... Let me... <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> I'm so scared. Um, Wait, why can't I move it back down? They can... You hear us so everything's fine i think what you've done does it say background did you move the oh, one no, that says background like, to mess. the top of the list oh grace it's such a mess i moved it to the top <laughs> oh my god grace it's such a mess i'm just not going to update move it all the way back down it's okay I, grace but now it's it's fine it's fine you. oh grace what am I just move it all the way down. Okay, okay. I'm, Grace, I'm not good. touching it anymore. I'm not touching it anymore. That's it. I'm okay, okay. It. I'm gonna, Grace, I'm gonna update the stream and then I'm not we'll touching it anymore. It. Okay, you ready? Okay, cool. Yeah, let's see, let's see what happens. I'm so scared. Oh, God. Can everyone still <laughs> see me? Can everyone still hear me? Very stuttery. I'm not surprised. Why can't I see the chat? It oh, should. Wait, 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 Grace. Um, no, Grace. Left hand I'm, side. I've done it. I've done it. I've done it, Grace. I've done it. I'm, you got I'm it? just you got a it? brain. Perfect. Great. On the, no, Christ. sorry. On the right hand side, there should be like a little green arrow. Done Can it. you see a little done green it, arrow? On... Perfect. Guys, I'm a bit honestly, loud. It's because not, Steph is um, whispering and I'm not. I'll whisper too, guys. I'll be I, quiet I'm not too. I'm doing a stage whisper. This, will be, this is a stage whisper. This will be um, an ASMR stream. Yes, this is an ASMR stream, quite different to the usual loud and boozy streams we do. Although, Grace, I might pour myself a glass of wine. What oh my gosh, I don't even know. I was going to say, I don't... <laughs> Are you reading the chat message that says this is the quietest dev's ever been? <laughs> um, Why are you there's a cat Grace? here. <laughs> have you got, got sound points? Did you not see the... The background cat? No. Did you completely miss the background cat? I completely missed it. <laughs> oh my gosh. There was, yeah. I don't know if she, she's like. <laughs> there oh, she is. Lagging, people are saying. Why lagging? Why it Show us the cat. No one saw. Oh my gosh. No one saw the cat. That's so disappointing. Can people say. That's so sad. People Say whether it is actually quite lagging. Dev is. Qu I'm quite. Wait, I'm twice as loud as you are. Grace is lagging. Only Dev Grace is, is laggy. Interesting. Let me what turn off. Be, Do we have any mods in the chat right now? <laughs> no. Behave yourself, people. Because I'm going to close Twitch and see if that helps. Is that yes, any better? Okay. Hype train. I'll hype pull the train. chat up on my All aboard the hype train. Here. That was the quietest hype train I'll ever. Hype train. Hype train. Is that better, guys? Am I good? Maybe? Is Grace still laggy? Yes. No. Maybe. Probably. This is what happens when you live in the Alps, guys. My Wi-Fi is ridiculously bad. Somebody said that's a medium rare hype train. <laughs> guys, this is a very different kind of stream. It's a calm, it's a Ooh. Ignore that. Okay. That is quite laggy. I wonder if I use my phone hotspot, if that will completely mess this up. We're going to find out. We're going to see. Okay, while Grace sorts herself out, um, then I might have a technical issue, but that's okay. Um, we're, I'm just going to set out the itinerary for tonight. Um, now, always preempt the streams with, I'm pretty tired. Um, and we started quite late through all my fault. Um, but this is what we're going to have. Okay, what we're going to do. Hope train success. Um, okay, we are going to start signing things. We're also going to do some question and answer, but we're going to keep it very cash. We're going to keep it very cash. And probably not going to get through everyone today because there's been a lot of prints um, bought, 
which is great. But um, I need to, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get through them all tonight. So uh, yeah, that's basically what's, what the plan is. So if you have questions, um, please put them in the chat. Um, Grace will field them. And also we're having questions for Grace and questions for me. So please put um, who your question is for. And yeah, anything else to, else to add, Grace? No, I think we're good. Is this, okay. am I less laggy? Maybe, hopefully. It is better. Okay. This is okay. better. I have my phone on, so we'll see how long my hotspot lasts. I'm sad Dad you guys laggy, didn't but get Grace to see the, oh no. what a the cat. <laughs> what a nightmare. I'm really sad because the cat was sitting in front of my cat picture and it was such a perfect moment. Grace, people are saying I'm laggy now. You are kind of laggy, yes. That's annoying. What I thought I it was just me, though. What shall I do to fix it, Grace? It's okay, we can still hear. Okay. All right, Grace, I feel like yeah. we need to... Oh, Grace, we need to start with the, with the first question, which is how did we two meet? Do you want to tell our, our origin love story? What our origin love pretty. story? Oh my gosh, sure. I feel like we need we need to come up with a better story, Dev. Because realistically, no, it's I not, it's a lovely story. It's a lovely I story. saw here. I'll give a little. I'll give a little context to it, Grace, and we'll you, see. You, like, we'll start really at the beginning. Up, Grace. Grace, like really, like really yeah. I'll really like, hype it up. This is a this is a life this is a life lesson for people tonight. Okay. Yes. So and before you start, fact, Grace, if you didn't know. Like, before yes, we start, yes. Grace, I'm going to do this first prank. Who are we signing? For, for John. I'm not going to say John's last name, um, just because I don't think that would be appropriate. But um, this is for John. So um, we're adding a quote, one of my favourites, which is, what good this heart of stone for it to be shattered? Okay, Grace, continue. The lovely one to start. Oh. Great quotes. Grace's video is ahead of her sound. That's not fun. It'll, uh... <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so good. The theme of the night is tech issues. Yeah, Anyways, always. fun story, folks. Yeah, so I am a game designer, or I want to be, want to be game designer. I am a game designer, but I you are game have designer. my own indie studio. I had applied for a role in which I went through a four month long interview process. At the end of the interview process, after the final interview, I was asked for social media metrics that I didn't have because I wasn't really on social media. And I told them that I felt uncomfortable with the fact that they wanted to judge my design skills on my social media presence. They then came Oh, Grace is Grace is gone. <laughs> Grace is Grace is gone. Oh, I think Grace will be back. Okay, so I can't even continue the story because I don't. I don't know this story. I don't know this story. I'm not sure what my internet's not even working properly either. I'm trying to load my streamily things. I might have to do it from my phone. Okay, here we go. Can people still hear me? My back. Grace really meant it when she said no social media. <laughs> Hi, Grace. I'm with you back. Hi. I switched back to my regular Wi-Fi, so I apologize if it's um if it's laggy. Where where was I? I don't know <laughs> where Something I like stopped at. Four months. Oh, I'm gonna have to do. Okay, I had a four-month interview five. process. <laughs> I had a four-month-long interview process. Um, yeah, and they told me that they wanted after the final interview. They told me that they wanted to like look at my social media presence. Um, to which I told them I felt very uncomfortable with that because the job had nothing to do with social media. Um, they then told me that they just didn't feel like I was exceptional enough to work 
with their company. Great. That was the word they used was exceptional. So that's, I was actually like really that's dejected. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. And I, I had heard because I the industry is all about connections. And I was like, you know what? I just like need yeah, thanks, Brazen. I have four degrees, by the way. Um <laughs> yeah, I was just, like just throwing I that just out really there. need just yeah, throwing that out there. To be fair, someone in chat threw it out. It wasn't me. <laughs> but um They know you so well. Yeah, right? I was like, I really need to create like these connections and just like someone had made a comment about um just like reaching out to people with no expectation other than like you have skills and so i saw dev on tiktok making just like a funny video about wanting to stream but not knowing where to start and i was like you know what this this is my moment like i'm gonna seize this and we're gonna message dev and just like offer help and like not expect anything to come of it, but just be like, if you need someone to moderate your chat or whatever, I'm, you know, I'm available. And it was kind of funny because I had seen that you saw the message <laughs> and then you didn't respond. And I was like, <laughs> okay, I shot my shot. Like that's, How you know, long did cool, I not respond whatever. For Grace? It was like two days, I think. It wasn't super long, oh, but God. I had like seen like I think it was like Saturday night you had seen the message and then like Monday morning you replied or something but I was like you know what (laughs) it's fine yeah it wasn't too bad but I was like oh she saw it and was like not interested you know did you feel like Um, I was never gonna reply yeah but like it happens you know like you had at the time you had a hundred thousand followers on TikTok I think now you have like two hundred thousand so I was just like there's you know like it's beautiful i was like there's like a very small chance of me actually hearing back from you but you did and here we are so and now people send me pirate pictures (laughs) and go i thought of you (laughs) and i've never talked to these people before so (laughs) you know it it's been a wild ride it's been a while. Like, sorry, reason. I'm looking. Yes. I keep looking down at my phone. It's only because I'm trying to work out. This streamily just doesn't look so great on my phone, but on my computer, it's really lagging. So I don't know. Lagging is a theme today. Let me try it again. Let me try it again. Um, Cause I have to see what exactly I'm doing. Um, what a nightmare, guys! It's very laggy when you're using the um, computer camera and stuff. Now let's get Doug's side of the story. Doug's side of the story is that I'm actually, so sometimes I think back on the story, Grace, and I'm like, I'm so glad that that happened in the way that it did because I was very um, gung-ho about the whole thing. I was like, how hard can it be? You play, I mean, you play the game and you stream it, but I did really underestimated the technicalities of the whole thing. So not only um, the game, obviously, but also the technical difficulties that went into setting up the stream, like knowing how to run it, getting to hear Grace, and then getting Grace actually on the camera was a whole fucking thing in itself. Like it was so, but now now we've got it down to a team. It's really easy and it's fine. But at the beginning, I was like quite overwhelmed with it. So I was like, how in what universe did I think that... um, that I could have done this on my own. I was just very, I think it just all aligned in the way that it should have aligned because I couldn't have done it without Grace. And also like, I didn't even appreciate the fact that the game would be so hard for me to play. So like when we started, and I think it was within like three minutes of me starting and I was like, I'm Grace, so what do I, yeah, what do I do here? And then, and, and also I realized yeah. how weird it was to just do a game and not speak to anyone. And so that's how it, yeah, that's how it started. Bizarre. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because originally, like when we first talked, um, you were like, "Oh, like, can you just be a voice in the background that like yells out people's questions?" And I was Is really hesitant to actually like, yeah, okay. you're like, "Oh, it's possible for you to like answer or you know like to say questions out loud?" Because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see the chat. Yeah, and I was like, "Yeah, that's totally fine." And then. It was like, um, yeah, your audio is a bit weird. I'm not sure why, though. I think I'm laggy, too, though, so it's 
<laughs> we're both <laughs> laggy. Yeah, sorry, guys. Um, I'm sorry. I hope you can still see. I'm, I'm doing this next one out to Melissa, who wants a quote from, oh, a good one. I've not sinned against Black if Black has sinned against me. Melissa, you get brand new Sharpie. Um, so lucky you. Oh, it's the thin tipped one as well. That's exciting. Um, can, can we just give a moment for these prints, by the way? Um, I met Paulina. Um, I'm sorry, Paulina. I, I can't, don't know how to pronounce your last name. Paulina Kine, Kine. Um, But I met lovely Paulina at Birmingham Comic Con and she gifted me this print. Not this one. This one's for Melissa. She gifted me this print. And I was like, I'm going to see you, okay? <laughs> I think there's a cat. <laughs> I think there might be. I think there might be. It's a cat. Um, <laughs> Grace, is this our most chaotic stream yet? I don't so know what that was. I have so like looking around me. for. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Grace, are you okay? Guys, can people actually see me and Grace? Because for me, it looks so laggy. So <laughs> yeah, for me it looks really laggy. like in the stream, but it looks super laggy. Yeah, can people see? I, Grace, do you remember we had this issue last time and we managed to fix it? I did. Um, I don't remember like if somebody what, was, can you let us know how how we did it. I'm much laggier. I imagine yes. I'm mostly frozen. Okay, we'll try and go back. To the phone <laughs> and see if that works okay, good luck. but it dropped me before which was very sad so let's see let's see okay i'm just finishing this quote from melissa and then i'm going to finish telling you the story of this print oh man this is actually probably my favorite Lazelle, um, Lazelle print of all times. Also, now that it's signed, it looks so cool. You know, Melissa, this is your print. It is coming to you soon. Um, okay, so so Paulina, lovely Paulina, came uh, to me in Birmingham, gifted me this print, and um, and I was like, I have to like commission this for Streamly um, because it's so stunning. And here we are, a few months later, now we've got Pauline's print. So she's, um, uh, Pauline's done a full length one of Lazelle and then um, a, oh, where is it? And a close up of Lazelle. So this is the close up one. The one I just signed for Melissa was a full length. This is the close up. If you can see. So, I'm muted. <laughs> I love that one. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't even, all the, all the new ones we have and the old ones are stunning, obviously. But, they're all gorgeous. Um, yeah. They're all gorgeous. I can't pick a favorite, but they're just all really cool in their unique way. Okay. The next one is for Daniela. Um, okay. Oh, this actually, this, <clears throat> this one, I mean, I can't pick a favorite because, sorry, but look at this one. Grace, you've seen these, I know, but like, how funky is this? Look, it's like Gen Z so, laser. Oh, yeah. Actually, I don't know if I'd call her Gen Z Lazelle. It's probably yeah. a bit insulting. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but she's, um, yeah, Basil, Basil. Okay, Daniela. Um, she got it signed from Basil. Okay, Daniela. By the way, if any of these um, people that I'm signing for are in the chat, please make yourselves known because I remember last time, didn't we have somebody that it was meant to be a surprise for, Grace, and they were actually in the chat? Do you remember that? And they were in the chat. And they yeah. were in the chat and they were like, oh, my gosh. oh that's me. I do remember that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, I'm signing this one for Daniela with two L's. Okay. Um, sign oh, my gosh, there's so many. I'm, like, trying to keep track of all you guys' questions here. We had, I know we had someone ask about a Skull and Bones stream. Ooh. I don't know how you feel about that. Well, I don't know how to play it. Is it hard? Um, I've never played it either, so <laughs> I don't know. Anyone that's played it, I'm assuming it it's um, yeah. Let us know, folks. We also have okay, this is your print. Question Daniela. for Devin Grace: What is your favorite place? 
She is in the chat. Yes. Daniela, do you like it? Do you want do you want me to put my name as well? Did you want um Basel? I'm so glad you're here, Daniela. Because like sometimes I sign them and I'm like, is that what the person wanted? <laughs> um Daniela, did you want my name or did you want just Basel? Daniela, I love it. Fantastic. Wait, Daniela, wait, Daniela, do you want my name or not? <laughs> this is gonna take a long time. <laughs> but that's okay. Your name too would be lovely. My name too would be lovely. From on Daniela. It. Thank you, Daniela. Yes. Yeah. That's so cool that people Scorn bones will think about. Uh <laughs> yeah, guys, I, to be yeah. fair, to be fair to myself and to Grace, I really need to master, um, I really need to master Boulder's Gate first, <laughs> um, probably before I move on to Scar and Bones. Um, so yeah, I don't know, maybe. Maybe. I actually Grace, if I had to choose a game that I'd probably stream after Baldur's Gate, it would probably be Cyberpunk. What do you think about that? Yeah. yeah. I've never played Cyberpunk, actually. I just have Maybe. never I really want to. I've just like never gotten around to it. But yeah. <laughs> it is it is a good game. Okay, this one next one's for Brian. Um Brian with a Y. And Brian says that I'm their, um, I'm their favorite character in Baldur's Gate. Thank you, Brian. Appreciated. Um, one of my favorite quotes and a cute Lazelle drawing. Do you really want me to draw, Brian? Brian, are you here? Please make yourself known if you are. And I, I, I really wouldn't recommend anyone ask me to draw because I'm shocking. But, um, but I'm going to do it. Let, um, Grace, I'm not looking at the chat right now, so do yeah. let me know if Brian is. Um, is there okay i need to like write down <laughs> the question so i can keep scrolling through the chat hold on chatters in memento por favor oh God, all the laser quotes have literally okay well next question up. what is your favorite place <laughs> give me a laser quote i've literally lost my mind um Oh my gosh! Oh my Lazelle god! Quotes. What's happened? Don't put me on the. <laughs> don't put oh, me on the spot it? like this. What was the one of that? Um. Oh my god! Oh my god! What was that one? If not, I am silver. You are. Oh, oh my scrolling god! Scrolling through the chat. Somebody give me a little quote. No, what was the one of like? You think you can survive without me? That's a great one. Yes. Christ alive! No, there's one where she says, "I am fury. I am death. I've oh, done it." Brian, you're, you're getting what you think you can. Hey, Cypher, welcome in. I'm scrolling. I'm so far back in the chat. This is insane, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to write down all your questions. We can just sort of take them as they come, Grace. It's easier. This is for you, Brian. Here you go. I hope you like that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's, there's just, just there's so many questions. I want to, like... Brian's asking for a Lazel drawing. How am I going to draw Lazel? I don't think anyone's asking me to draw a Lazel. Oh my god, Brian. I really. Look, you've got no one to blame but yourself. So here we go. Oh god. I'm going to try and copy the lovely Paulina's. This is going to be horrendous. This is going to be the most horrendous thing I've ever done. Grace, I'm ashamed of it already. Brian, are you here? <laughs> It's okay, okay, I can draw like one dog and that's about it. Nice. Uh, yeah. I can't, oh my god. Okay, I got I got a, I got questions, so we'll we'll see. Great. I'm just excited to see what it looks like at oh, this no, point. Grace, Grace, it's so <laughs> bad. It's so bad. It looks like it looks like something out of Lord of the Rings, but really Oh great, I can't stop. I can't stop Grace. Okay, are you ready? This is the most horrendous thing I've ever drawn. I'm so sorry, Brian. If you're here, um, I really, truly apologise. Wait. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Brian. Oh, I love it. I love it. It's great. Don't ask me to draw anything, guys. This is, like, really bad. Um some people are saying beautiful, literally fuck off, it's not beautiful at all. But there you go, Brian, <laughs> what you ask for, you get. So that's for you. 
Okay, who's next? Nate. Nate has asked for one of these old prints, which I love. Um, so thank you very much, Nate. We will be getting that piece. Grace here. Grace, are you here? Are oh, you here? Okay. I'm. I don't. You yeah. Keep sort of popping I'm in lagging and out. I'm not gonna lie so to you. much though. I might have to switch back. Yeah. Okay, we're switching back. I'm gonna be laggy, folks. I apologize, but when you live in the Alps, <laughs> you can only do so much. <laughs> yeah, but you live in the Alps, Grace. Nate, it's your birthday on the 28th of February, so this is an early birthday present. Oh, happy birthday for the 28th. Um, Nate, if you're here, give us a wave. Um, let me see. I'm just looking at the chat to see if Nate's here. Um, did you want a specific quote, Nate? Um, if not, I'm, I'm so excited to see you at the London Anime Con tomorrow. Oh, great. Yes, I'll be there tomorrow. Um, Nate, are you here, Nate? Are you here? Otherwise, I'm just going to add a chuck because you didn't say that you wanted a quote. So, just camera yeah, keeps falling down. There we go. Okay. All right, that's for Nate. You got a classic <clears throat> chuck. There you go, Nate. Oh, just lost my screen. And happy birthday to you for the 28th. All right. We got more questions, Grace. We have a few, yes. So we have, what is your favorite place that you visited or lived in and why? This is the for first me. one. I feel like I should be for, I, Yeah, for places. both of us. I can, All right, yeah. you, go, you go first while <laughs> I do this one. This is for Dustin. So I'm gonna make this one out to Dustin. This is one of our prints that we had last time. Really cool smoking laser, which I love. Grace, go for it. You first. I'm, I'm trying to think, honestly. I feel like favorite place I visited, I really enjoyed the Dominican Republic. I don't think I'd want to live there, though, because it's hot and it's very, like, humid. So I don't think I'd yeah. want to live there, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Beaches are amazing. Um, in terms of, like, place I'd want to live, I love where I live right now in um in annecy in france there you go, um, i love that print that print i love I that print so much it's a really good one it's such a good one um what else is I'm trying to like think of everywhere i've lived to be honest i love barcelona lived, grace i've li okay okay here, oh we go. here we go this is the segment of the stream called grace law so buckle up everyone <laughs> Grace Lord. Buckle See, up. this is the thing. Okay. I've Grace is gonna I'm say, not gonna go I into like in a research facility in Antarctica. This is what she's gonna say. <laughs> I'm yeah. not gonna say like all of the places, like all the cities that I've lived, because I think that would take a really long time. But I've lived in the US, obviously. Um I've lived in, in Ireland. US. I was born in the US. Yeah. Um, so I guess we can <laughs> we can uh condense that. I've lived in Washington, California, Arizona, and Nevada. It's pretty much the entire West Love Coast. Um, Ireland, where in Ireland? Dublin. I lived in Dublin. Um, um, sorry to interrupt you, Grace. This one's for Renee. Yeah. Um, this is a lovely close-up of Lazelle for Renee. Here you go, Renee. I hope you're here. Let us know if you're here, and I hope you like it. That's for you. Okay. Sorry. Carry on. Oh my gosh. What did I say? Just US, Ireland. I li I've lived Dublin. in France. Dublin. I've lived in a few places in France. Dublin, yeah. Um, Spain. I've lived in Spain. And, you can and speak Spanish, I've right? lived in the UK. I can speak a little bit of, I'm like, I wouldn't say I'm conversational, but I can order at restaurants and like talk to people on the bus, <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm not, I still need to work on my Spanish. But have I ever thought of living in New York? Honestly, no, because it's expensive. And I'd love to live in New York. Just not my vibe, to be honest. I love if I I love theater though. And obviously New York is a huge theater place. Um, but I think I'd rather live in London, to be honest. So. London. Come to London Grace. London. London Grace. Yeah. Um Yeah. Sorry. So this one's for Brianna. 
I've written to Brianna. Now, Brianna wants, Brianna, are you here? Let us know. Um, Brianna wants a favorite soft or vulnerable basil romance line. Um, so I'm thinking of, um, oh, God, will you stay with me for good? Is that, that's a good one, isn't it? Grace, have you done basil romance? Oh, you better say yes. I, to be honest, I have only gotten to the romance stage once in this game, okay? And it was a Starian, and it was the oh. first one I did. Grace. I have disgusting I, luck. I am, I know, I'm so sorry. I am horrible at playing this game. Not in the sense that, like, I'm bad at the game. But I get to, like, the mid of Act 1. And I'm like, you know what? This would be much better if I played it as a Tiefling. Or this would be much mm. better if I played it as a Druid. And then I have to restart. And so <laughs> I've never actually, like, been You're able to play with me. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm good at the game. I just, I repeat act one a lot. I actually just got to act two again the other day because I was curious to see, no, actually I got to act three. I was curious to see what would happen if like I sped run the game to get to a certain point. Yeah. Um, and I kind of broke the game. So, <laughs> but yes, um, I have act, I, Brazen in the chat has said, I have not finished act three. I have. Thank you very much. I finished the game like two weeks ago, I think. So um, there we go. I I can't wait to <coughs> head into the game with you, Grace. Um, Brianna, I've actually chosen to do. Um, I've chosen to do. I don't want to hurt you. I want to protect you, as the quote. And um, and um, Brianna says, if I'm feeling generous, a Dino dance, um, go a Dino dance doodle. And I've actually forgotten what the dinosaur looks like. So if people can just flood the chat with some. Um, Dino dances, and in fact, we can even play a Dino dance, can't we, Grace? That would be really helpful. We for can. Me. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's That's see. a lot of dinosaurs. Oh wow. Okay. They're really moving. That's actually not helping me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. What is it? How is its body looking? Oh crap. Oh, this is going to look so bad. Brianna, look. You brought it upon yourself. You know. Oh my God. Great. Has it got arms? This dinosaur. Yes or no? It does. It has like little tiny dinosaur arms. What does this? What does? Oh, great. this is horrendous. It's even worse than Lazel. <laughs> has it got spikes? Yeah, it does. Yeah. Has it got spikes at the top? No, it doesn't. It's got tongue. No. Here. Okay. All right, Brianna. Here's your little. <laughs> here's your little <laughs> dino dance icon. It looks He's like so a slug. cute. <laughs> I love it. There you go, Brianna. Um, yeah, it's so <laughs> horrible. Brianna, are you here? Um, let us know if you are. Okay. All right. Grace, it might oh be wine o'clock. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. I just realized I have also lived in Croatia. Like, I lived in Croatia for a very long time. So I'm not sure why I forgot about that. <laughs> but that's it's probably so one of my favorite places, actually, is so Croatia. Young. And yet you've lived a life. I have. Right, yes. This one is to Bradley, um, who says, Bing Bong deserved it. Thank you, Bradley. Loving the streams. Fun to watch the ride of the power ladies. Thank you, Bradley. Thank you so much. This one is for you. Wait, I'm going to sign it first and then I will show it to you. Bradley. Bradley, you yeah. are a VIP VIP because you said Bing Bong deserved it. So. I see all these comments in the chat. Like, why do you move around so much? Why not? I'm, yeah, why not? Do it when I'm young and I will want to explore the world. Absolutely. Then, yeah. You go, know, Bradley. Also, I absolutely agree with that. I, even though I'm not as young as Grace, um, I still want to live in different places um, because I think it's cool um, to explore different cultures. Obviously, a little bit difficult. Well, not difficult, but harder with uh, having a baby, but not impossible. So, yeah. Yeah. Here Thank you, it. Illuminati Miss, for the gift subs, too. Thank you. Much thank you, appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for the gift subs. Yeah, Grace, that's really catching on. It is. I th we need, like, an album. We need, we we need, need to. Well, listen, Sugar Melly, I don't know if she's here, but Sugar Melly actually reached out to me <laughs> to say, like, we should do something together. And I said I'd get, sorry, Sugar Melly, if I haven't got back to you. It was a while ago, and we should do something. I just haven't really like thought of it but we should just not overthink it and just do something together but like i can't the thing with sugar Melly is 
I feel I was feeling inferior doing something with Sugar Melly because has had people heard Sugar Melly's voice? It's absolutely insane. Like I, yeah, I don't know if I could deal with that honestly. Um, okay, so this is for Jay, and Jay says Shavazai, Lazel is so great. Her friendship and constancy, the battle maneuvers, I can never forget her. Her name will be etched on all our slates. Oh, Jay, thank you. That's really sweet. We've ordered this one, the full-length one from Paulina. Um, Jay, I, I don't know if you wanted a quote with that. Um, please, can you let me know if if you're in the chat um, so I can include a quote that you'd like? Um, oh, like you can legit just write your name. Oh, you're here. Hi. Hi, Jay. You can legit just write your name or whatever. Um, do you want to, do you want a quote? Would you like me to include a quote, Jay? My dog's love you. <laughs> wait, J wait, Jay, are you, are you the one that sent me? Yes, you are. Okay, okay, so on Streamily, um, <laughs> on Streamily, people can send me video messages and I watch all of them and I responded yesterday and I watched them all and Jay sent me a video with his doggy and um, Jay said that, uh, I think your dog's adopted as well, right? Your dog's a rescue, he said, a sweet dog. What's the dog's name? Jay, let me know. Um, okay, I'm going to make it out to Jay and Echo. Echo. It's very sweet. The doggy was super cute. Absolutely super cute. Rescue Ranger. Oh. Okay. Um, Jay, did you want me to include your like your chat name in the uh, in on the print or not? So you put it on the streamly thing. But I can't, I don't know if you just want to, Jay. No? Okay. Fine. I'm going to put, everyone just calls you Jay. Okay, fine. I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put a little quote then of my choosing. Jay, you can have that as a little surprise when you open when you get your print. Um, Grace, go for a question if you like. Yeah? Yeah. Do, do you have a favorite place that you have lived or visited? Or should we ask a different question um i haven't lived in that many places um in terms of visiting ooh, it's that's really hard to choose because i love pretty much every place i visit um i did really like new york i think i talked about that last time in the chat um on the stream i talked about how much i love new york um thailand incredible um I can't think of a place I didn't love. Indonesia, incredible. Gili Islands. Do I remember living in Bulgaria? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I lived there till I was six. I went to like preschool there. I do remember living in Bulgaria, but like not, I don't have like massively clear memories of it, but yes, I do. So. And you, you go back to Bulgaria quite a lot too, don't you? I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, have I been to Bath? Yes, I have been to Bath. Are you from Bath? This is yours, Jay, by the way. Here you go. That is yours. Okay. Um, okay, right. Let me just click that one. Okay. Oh, we've got another funky laser here. Um, you can go for another question, though, Grace. Sorry, my answer wasn't particularly inspiring. Yeah. But, but yeah. It's all good. Um, this Someone is asked. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sign it and then I'll read it out for stuff. Go for it. Um, someone asked if you're going to MCM this year. I don't think you know that yet. Right? I don't know yet. I don't yes. know yet. Hopefully, I'd love to. Um, yes. So I am most likely going to MCM, not as a panelist, obviously, <laughs> but I will. If anyone is going to be at MCM, hit me up, and we can. We you can confirmed? Do a little Let's meetup. Go. I think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I'm going to go. So it's yeah. I miss London, so I want to go back. Yay. But. Oh, my God, this is for Amber, have... who, um, who, a.k.a. Nan Ming, and Amber is also born in the year of the dragon, or the, or the long, the Chinese dragon pronounced long. <coughs> Amber, we are birthday twins then, because I'm also born in the year of the dragon, and I'm terrified because everyone keeps telling me how this is the year of the dragon, it's going to be an awful year for me, because apparently your year your year isn't 
So if it's the year that you were born in, um, it's not a lucky year. I was like, oh, this year's the year of drugs. We were like, my really lucky year. And um, yeah, and then people were like, no, it's not lucky. Wear something red. So I got myself a red bracelet. But anyway, um, I really hope it's not that because I was really excited about this year being the year of the dragon. So yes, um, hi Amber. Um, Amber wants any style of birthday wishes um, for someone born in the year of the Chinese dragon. Ooh, Grace, I feel like this would be a great like, um, maybe ride, this could really be tied in with Lazel. What about something like, may your birthday May your birthday be as fierce as Lazelle's red dragon. Yeah, it's a good one. You don't seem convinced by that, or was it just the lag? I was, I was reading the uh, first time chat in the <laughs> in the uh, chat here and got distracted. Oh, okay. But yes, Sorry it's enough. a it's a good one. I'm gonna pick, put may your okay may your may your yeah may your birth. Oh my gosh, I just see my hair in the, the thing here, and I find this hilarious, because on this side, which side is it? On one side, I have curls, and on the other side, it's just, like, flat. And I'm not sure what happened there, but... <laughs> Gotta love it. Oh my gosh. All right, I put two amber. May your birthday be as fierce as Lazelle's red dragon. I think that's good. Oh, well, let's see. What else do we have? What is your favorite wine for Dev? Any wine that's in my glass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's um, fair. That's fair. That's, in fact, I'm gonna have some wine in my glass right now. It's been a it's been a it's been a bit of a day. It, uh, like yeah. a bit of a tough day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna put some wine in my glass right now. Grace, you have um I think you have a bit more of wine con you're a wine connoisseur. A wineser. Oh my gosh! So, um, <laughs> what is it? So you go for it, and you live in France. Um, so I've just oh realized I've been, like, I've been bouncing Amber's print. Oh, I'm sorry, Amber. This is your print. But I'm, <laughs> I'm putting it down now. Okay. What is my? I don't know. Should we? I have a pile over here. Hold on. Let, let's a pile let's of get wine. a tour. Yeah. Of course she does. More laser. More um graceful. Okay, while Grace is getting her collection of wines, I'm going to sign this next one for Che. This is your print, Che. And Che says, uh, big fan of streams. Um, okay, um, Che wants me to write R.E.P. Grimblor. Yes, he is dead. Okay. I hope that's not as as um, as, as dark as I think it is. Um, I don't know who Grimblor is, but okay. Are you here, Che? Let me see if Che is in the chat. Hello. All right. Did you pour it, Grace? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> I just grabbed all the wine bottles. Um, so they appear all okay. to be white wine. <laughs> I don't know if you can. I have the notes section in front of my camera, so I can't see what's going on. Okay, here we go, folks. There's the. Uh... <laughs> we have Bordeaux. Great stuff. What else? What is this? I don't know what all of this is, to be honest. This is fresh and intense. I don't know what kind it is, though. <laughs> cattle and wine. wine. It just, it's just cattle and wine. Goodbye, Grimlaw. <laughs> also, like, I will, I will add to this. I'll get in camera here. There's a reason this all sits on my shelf, and it's because I very rarely drink. I just see something and I'm like, oh, that's really cute. I want it. So there's a little, I love Grace cattle and wine. Every stream that she so. very rarely drinks, but she has like a whole collection of wine. I know you're wines. a bad influence on me, Deb, because I, I drink more on these, <laughs> on these streams. But no, I love a good, I have a lot of wine in storage too, because I moved. Um, and I love a good like Rioja. I'm probably saying mm. that wrong, to be honest. I'm saying that with my American accent. Um, but like a good dark red wine, I love too. So it's, yeah, kind of up for anything, to be honest. But what is this? Okay, I'm just finished a print for Sean. 
who asked me to add one of my favorite lines also short which is why would i bury a hatchet is it broken (laughs) that's my favorite too that is for you that is such a good line um god i'm loving i'm really loving how these prints are coming out actually it's the first time i've signed them um on well anywhere there'll be some tomorrow at the con um but yeah also there's been a few people asking can can they buy prints or um so you can still buy prints up until the end of the stream um or actually until i finish signing them which might not be until the end of the stream but i'm probably going to shut the shop at the end of the stream otherwise it's going to be like overload so so yes you can still um buy them for as long as we're streaming tonight um you should still be able to get them okay um and then people ask me when can they get them again i don't know um uh, i don't know to be honest i i can't say so maybe, hopefully soon but it won't it probably won't be for at least well i don't want to say i'm going to give a time frame because i don't want people to like have it in their heads so there will be more obviously but i don't know when that will be um okay cool uh this next one is for mads um mads okay Thank you for being part of Lazelle's character. Please write a favourite line of yours from her story, Romance, and keep slaying Lazel. Thank you, Mads. <laughs> You're very cute. Okay, are you here, Mads? Let us know if you're in the chat. Um, I'm going to write, you are my Jack Bonash Jew, the source of my bruises. Um, while Grace carries on with her wine tour. Oh, have you finished the wine yeah. tour? <laughs> we finished the wine tour. I don't have any here. Uh... Yeah, all my like fancy wine is in storage right now. So, what, what does that mean in storage? Well, I I lived in the south of France, and now I live okay north, and I just didn't take my stuff with me. So it's like just hanging out in a storage unit with all of the rest of my belongings. So, Grace, what if somebody breaks in and takes all your wine? I know. I should like get insurance on it. Because there's yeah. probably a lot of wine in there, but yeah. And as we know, know, wine is precious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does so every place? Nice. Let's see it. Let's see it. There you go. Sorry, Grace, interrupted you. Nice. This is one for months. Um, sorry, I can't. I keep putting like, the thing up there, and I realize the camera's right there. Um, there we go. And I put my number on the back. Each one has to be numbered, so then they go to the correct people, obviously. Um. Okay, this next one is for Adra Hill. Quote Jacques Von Ashdu, Adra Hill is a character I've been role-playing in Fae Run since before you were born. Yes, I am a proud boomer. Are you? Are you? Wait, your real name is not Adra Hill, obviously. Um, Adra Hill, so Adra Hill is your tab? Are you here? Well, you're not, I, I keep wanting to say, are you here, Adra Hill? But you're not here. That's not your name, I mean. And um, what is your name? Please tell us, um, who are you, you boomer, you? Um, but, okay. What are we uh, What are we trying to tell Dev? <laughs> what's, <laughs> Rose, what a heck? What a heck? What are we, what's, what's happening? <laughs> Repeat in the chat, please. I don't think Adra Hill is here, though. At least okay. as far as I'm aware. Adrahill may sound like a character from Fae Run, but really it also sounds like some kind of um, pharmaceutical product, doesn't it? Buy your Adrahill today and feel much better, much faster. Uh, Rose, Rose, what the heck, got you some gifts, apparently. Thank you so much. And yes, it was a Sharpie sniff. I love sniffing Sharpies, and I'm not ashamed of it. Um, that's very exciting. I love gifts. Can't wait. Quite, and they can't will wait. see you at AnimeCon tomorrow yes tomorrow oh very exciting i might be tired but don't worry i'll still be alive there's a cat beneath me somewhere i walked away never mind as always hello chicken nugget noah (laughs) how's it going who sorry who i don't know someone (laughs) someone said hi grace so i've just responded Chicken Nugget Noah. It's a great Chicken name. Chicken Nugget Noah. Yes. All right, Adra Hill, this is your print. Um, I hope you like it. Get your Adra Hill today from your nearest pharmacy. No side effects reported. 
You know when they do the really fast <laughs> stuff? <laughs> okay, we've got another funky Lazelle, um, as I call her. To Nancy, could I draw Lazelle yeeting a goblin? Are you are you joking, Nancy? Are you here right now? Nancy, are you joking? Do you just see my art? Nancy. Nancy's in the chat, I think. Somebody said I think you can I think you me. can do it. Now what does yeeting just mean kicking? Nancy, yeah. I don't <laughs> yeah. Nancy, I don't want to though because I'm gonna ruin your print, Nancy. Hi, Nancy. I can see you. I can see you in the chat. Throwing. Oh, Na Nancy, Throwing. sorry, did you not just see my earlier drawing of Lazelle? Why do you call it yeeting? What if you want to look yeeting? What it's called. Sounds like some... I don't know if there's... Kanye West shit. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, Nancy, you're sure you want this? Gen Z okay. thing. I can't. I don't even know where to start, Grace. Laser. Okay. Oh my God, Grace. I'm. I'm really. I'm bamboozled right now. Um. Uh, Nancy would also like me to share my recipe for mimosas, and Miss Grumpy has, has any life advice. Okay. Okay, Nancy. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this to you straight before I draw this. Um. Okay. Miss Grumpy's life advice is: be grumpy all the time. Um. But and everyone else will show you affection. That's her motto in life. And um, mimosas uh, should always be 90% champagne and 10% orange juice. Yeah. Great oh, advice for me, Miss Grumpy. That's hysterical. <laughs> um, yeah. Sugar Melly says, I regret not asking Dev to draw a dino dance on my streamily print. Well, I already did one for somebody and it was, oh, it was Nancy, it's going to be absolutely horrendous. I can't <laughs> even tell you. I can't even tell you, Nancy. It's going to be even worse than Oh, Grace, this is going to be so bad. What, I've even forgotten what Lacey looks like. I, try, I keep trying to draw, draw her like in profile. I don't know why I'm doing that. Do you know what I mean? Like, what does she even look like? Oh, she's got the spots. That should be fine. Okay, and now she's to throw a goblin. Okay, I'm going to just represent it with an arrow. Okay. What does a goblin look like? Do you know what, Grace? I'm just going to use my... Do they have ears? What do they look like? I mean, <laughs> they have ears, yeah. <laughs> They're like the little, um, I'm trying to think of when they show up in the game. They're like, I think they have pointy ears, don't they? Pointy ears. I'll, I'll take it. Oh, they God, have pointy ears. Like and they're okay, short just... and green. Oh, no, Grace. It's... Okay. All right. So Spiky this ears. So this is so bad. Nancy. You did ask for it though, so I'm just <laughs> I'm just giving the people what they want at this point. There you go, there you go, Nancy. Oh my God, Bra we will get to Bing Bong Valley. My gosh, you guys are so impatient. <laughs> okay, talk it, talk, talk to talk about Bing Bong Valley while I sign this next print okay. for <clears throat> Simon. So the next question is actually Grace. Any cool projects you're working on now? To which I can say. We were working on Bing Bong Valley, which we actually just had like like a seven hour brainstorming session the other day. So that was great. We are also um, expanding when, our team. When Grace says so, we, by the way, she doesn't mean me and her, just to clarify. No, I yes, to come yeah. the, Bing, the Bing Bong team of which um, Synchrony in the chat is our programmer. So say hello to Synchrony as well. Um, <clears throat> So yes, me and me and him had a brainstorming session the other day, and we now have an official game design document, and we are we are we have some exciting news that we're not allowed to share yet. So Aww. hopefully, in the near future, we had to sign an NDA. So hopefully, in the near future, we'll be able to kind of give you guys some more information. Um, this is this Dino Dance game. This is a Bing Bong origin story game. Kind of. Um, what kind Grace, of game will Bing Bong Valley be? If you want to be in it, yeah. Absolutely. Bing Bong Valley is a two D. Only, only if I can play Bing Bong. You can play Bing Bong. Yeah, he says Bing Bong. That's the only thing that he says is Bing Bong. But oh, that's true. <laughs> if you want to say, Bing it. Bong. 
<clears throat> um, someone asked what kind of game. It is a 2D cozy simulation game that has a very heavy focus on narrative. So it's a narrative focused game. Um, and it takes place in a city too, which is a little bit different from your average um, cozy game. So we're really excited to share it with you guys. We're also accepting teammates, teammates, team members. We're looking for additional people. So if you guys are interested in working on such game, I think if you head to my Twitter, there might be a post there. But I love how you put it like across. It like forms a little mustache. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about (laughs) that. Okay, the reason why I'm doing that is because it's quite dark down here. And I used to use um, like metallic pens, but it doesn't um, it doesn't always come out the best. So now I like using black pens, um, but then it comes out better on her face. So I yeah, but yeah, this is for you, Simon. Oh, you wanted so... um, <clears throat> Jack Von. Uh, I was steel and you were silver, and you wanted Jack Von Ash Duke. So Jack Von Fin do. So I've done that for you, Simon. Okay. Um, Right. Everyone's okay. Twitter is at the Dreadwaffle. Uh, Brazen, if you're in the chat, you can share the application if you want. We're looking for uh, a social media coordinator, a production coordinator, some writers, and some artists, 2D artists. So, and we're working in Unity. There you go. I think that's all of the questions that I saw fly by right there. <clears throat> my, I know, I need to drink more water. Thank you. Everyone's calling out my raspy boys okay this next one is for marissa who wants me to write to the treasurer of the we hate black if club and i will do so with a very great pleasure marissa that's so good <laughs> um are we looking for we, yes we also have um cypher of tear in the chat guys who is a um game writer on the wonder woman game and also hey. a mod for a lot of the Baldur's Gate actors. So welcome on in and a streamer themselves. So welcome on in. Okay, down back, Marissa. I'm just gonna say. Oh my God, Grace, do you know what I have just noticed is that in Lazel's pocket um, of this thing, it says chuk. <laughs> <laughs> Look, can people see it? It's right. Wait, I'm gonna. Oh my it's right there. Look, it's. I love that. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. Oh, I don't even. Programmer doesn't even know where the link is. So excuse me, folks. Well, <laughs> I find the link. Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this next one is for Tatian. I hope I'm saying your name right. Tatiana. Not gonna find it. Um, here, let's pull up another. I'll pull up another question for you guys. <clears throat> question for Dev: uh, What is one of the character slash personality traits that you find the most fun to act? Okay, I've got a great answer for this. Um, Grace, what do we think? This is better for the placement of the signature, don't you think? Yeah, sure. I mean, I kind of like the mustache. <laughs> I think the mustache is cute, but it does it does like frame the face better. Yes. Yeah, it's funny, um, <clears throat> it, but it, it it kind of well. Yeah, I, I don't mind it either. To be fair, I don't mind it either. But I actually like this one as well. I'm just gonna look at it from afar. Yeah, you can still see the signature. It's just not as clear, I suppose. It's just I don't love the metallic pens. Right. What's a personality trait that I like acting? Um. I love, uh, oh, I love like um, sarcastic, um, dry humor, bitchy, um, pretentious, really, uh, really negative, like characteristics are probably my favorite, and that's probably why I get cast um, as as that as well. Um, so, like, very similar to Lazel, I think that's why I, I make such a good Lazel because she's quite. Um, I'm not saying she's a neg- she's a negative character, she's not, but um uh that's I think I'm I lean I'm like I lean into that very easily. Uh yeah, and 
my acting teachers always said like it's not you're not playing a role you're just playing like different parts of yourself and I think it's very easy for um what was I going to say it's easy for me to lean into those parts of myself whereas for somebody else it might be easier to lean into you know other parts of themselves so um yeah what does that say about me? I am is that Cassie? Someone just mentioned there's a typo in the title, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that. <laughs> I mean, we can okay. sing too. This next one is for Shell. Shell, um, thank you so much for Lazelle. Is my favorite. She's been inspiring me to. Um, she's been she's been inspiring me while I'm dealing with a rough recovery from surgery. I hope you're I hope you're well now, Shell. Um, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad to hear that you love Lazelle. Lazelle's my favourite too. Shocker, I know. Oh, okay, so I'm going to add a little message here. I'm not going to read it out because you can, um, you can have it as a surprise. Okay, do we have a question, another question? Yeah, we have... Dun, 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 dun. Here's the Baldur's Gate one. Um, when they add new dialogue, do actors have to come back in or are they all pre-recorded? Um, well, no, we have to come back in because it's it's new dialogue, so how, how can it be pre-recorded? It's a good question, but um, yeah, it can't be pre-recorded because it's just been written. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I think, yeah, I think that what confuses people is um, they That's think that shall. like this is just content that didn't make it in to the original game. Whereas oh, okay. it's more Larian is looking at player feedback and seeing like, oh, we really want, you know, more kisses, right? And then Larian, which is not like a common thing, they go, okay, let's add that to the game. Um, sure. So I think I that's kind of where the confusion is. I don't but know it's that a, much it's about it from a, from a game developer perspective. Um, but that's I know that they're very good at taking into account what people... Um, want and and how people are reacting to the game so so yeah i think that's the reason and uh and i think that's the way it should be really you know you're enjoying a game so definitely you know, you're, you're investing your time and your money into this game so you should have like um you know you should have some input into it um okay this next one is for tamas sabo tamas okay i am going to write this for you uh, well, i'll show it to you after i run it tamas is that a lovely name? I'm not even going to guess where that's from because I don't want to make a fool out of myself, but it's a very beautiful name. Are you here, Tamas? Let us know. Let us know. Right. Let's just do that. There we go. That is for you. Well, this black print is very reflective. It's a glossy one. Okay, I've written the number one back. I really like the glossy one, though. I don't know why, but it's just I like... Do. I do, but you know there's shiny. something to be said for the matte ones as well. Then They're also really, they're also really, um, yes. really nice. Yeah. yeah. I feel like the glossy one, I love the gloss, but then also like if it's hanging up on the wall, it might be hard to see because then the light's shining off of it. it reflects. Yeah. yeah, that's it. Yeah. Um, okay, this next one is for Drac Footwalker. Um, Drac wants the source of my bruises, I'm yours. Okay, I will write that down um, <laughs> while we go for another question. Uh, let's see. Talking of other games, how is It Takes Two going? Oh, guys, I wish to see. I can't, it's not a shouty stream today. I can't shout, but I am. <sighs> I'm obsessed. Okay, shall I tell you where I'm up to? Okay, I'm up to, um, where am I up to? Okay, we've just done the bees, we've done Rose's room, then we saw, aha, the book of love, hello, ha ha. I, I love him, I'd make a great book of love. Um, but where the, what the fuck did then, oh, okay, I'll tell you where we are, we're in space. Space is trippy. Well, I don't know who made this game, but bits of it are very trippy, if you know what I mean. Um, I think that somebody has had a good time while making this game. Let's put it that way, which is fine. <laughs> I'm all for it. I love it. 
um, ha ha, Rose, you cannot. You must collaborate. Ha ha. Um, I better not fucking be in the same place as Jen and Aliona. Aliona, Aliona. I can't say Aliona's name today. I better not because my life's ambition is to beat them at everything. So I better not. <laughs> Anyway, sorry, I got really excited. Gonna about. wake up, Book of dorm in, feel like we gotta play now. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. Yes, I am a true game. I don't go anywhere anymore. I just sit in my PlayStation. When the baby goes to sleep, I just literally <laughs> play games. It's really, I, I don't know what to think of myself anymore. Um, let, let me tell you the funniest story. So you know that my mystery friend in the chat, um, Grace, that we're always like, oh, it's my mystery friend. Actually, are you here, my mystery friend? Um. I, I haven't kids. seen them, but they might be lurking. I actually saw him today, IRL. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so I don't know if he's there. But anyway, it's. Fun. I think I've told the story before. But back in September, um, we went on. We went on holiday with um, my partner and my mystery friend and like his girlfriend and stuff. And uh, and I was like, and he's like a real gamer. And I wish you were here. I wish he was here to hear the story. But anyway, I'll tell him I was told it. And I was like, um, yeah, I was like, I like games. Obviously, I work a lot in games. But I was like, I just can't imagine, like, sit. I've played The Sims and stuff. I can't imagine like, spending so many hours playing a game. And then I was like, and do you know what I really can't imagine? Is people that watch other people play games. <laughs> and literally, two weeks later, I bought a PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> and then I stopped from no, here you and are. I'm obsessed. And now I'm playing games of my own accord. So here we that's it. Yeah. It's called that's character it. development, folks. It really is. <laughs> uh, so right, I'm just finishing this one up for up for um for Drac Footwalker. What a name. What a name. Okay, another question if you want. Yeah, sure. Let's see. <laughs> Next one is Grace. Can you tell us about your BG three tab slash dirge? Um, yeah. I mean, as I mentioned, I have like multiple because I never go all the way through the game. Um, but the one that I did finish the game with was okay. named Beautiful. Was named uh, Kalariel, and she was a druid elf. Maybe half elf. I think just an elf. Um, and then I also have. Who else do I have? I have Isla, who is a a wizard. No, yes, a wizard, an elven wizard. I did. I use a lot of elves. Um, who else do I? I'm like, I'm spacing on all my characters. I the one that I'm playing right now on the PlayStation is Ildor who is a fighter, no, a cleric, cleric of Saluna. Um, so that's been exciting. But yes, my kind of favorite boss battle, I mean, it's got to be Raphael, right? I knew you were going to say that. I haven't even done this battle. It's going to be Raphael. I know it's going to be him. Yeah. Um, this is for Julie, by the way, who says that um, Julie is... Julie is buying this in honor of uh, my honor run with Lazelle by my side. Couldn't have done it without my joy. Thank you, Julie. You are most kind. And Lazelle couldn't have done it without you either. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Uh, next on the list. I'm just writing all these down. <laughs> um, Grace, have you ever tried coding your own game? Um, I have a coder, so I don't really code. However, I do do technical implementation. So I do work in Unity, um, mainly. I also work in Unreal. So I can, like, use the software, um, but I don't actually write any of the code. So coding is not my idea of a good time. So <laughs> that, that's what Synchrony in the chat is for, thankfully. Okay, Question I, for Dev. Go on. Yeah, let's see. Let's see your. Okay, I'm just going to show this one for John, who wanted me to write. Um, who says, um, "I love your stream on Twitch. Can you please write one of your favorite Lizelle quotes?" And I have written, "I am fury. I am death." That's the. Oh Oops. no! Pretty Sims got a got an ad during their print. Oh no! 
Wait, who who was that? Um, Birdie Sims Games. Um, can you tell me your name? I Julie. 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 Julie, tell yes. us when you're back, and I'll show you your print on camera. Um, okay. I think they're back. I think they're back. Julie, are you back? This is your print. This is your print. They're Julie. back. Yes. This is your print, Julie. Oh, now yes. you have, and now Julie has a subscription to this channel, Yay. thanks to Gecko83. Thank you. No more ads for you. <laughs> no more ads for you, girl. Okay. That's very right. cute. This next one is for Dane. Um, sorry, Grace, you put your favorite Blazel quote. Blazel quote. Okay. Um, ask me the question first, and then I'll do this one for Dane. Um, what influences inspire your Australian accent impersonation? It cracks me up as an Australian and I love it. Oh my god, no. Okay. I don't really know. I think it's just that uh, since I've been living in London, um, everyone, oh my god, yes, I did used to watch Home and Away. <gasps> Maybe let's see it. Yeah, I used to come home every day from school school no, that's really shit it's not school 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 how do you say school fuck it anyway um yeah i used to come home and watch home and away like religiously for years so maybe that just rubbed off on my accent because now when i live in london people are like oh my god oh no are you australian and i'm like no i'm bulgarian um so it's really confusing for people um but yeah, I can't really keep this up for too long. But um <laughs> Someone says, did you watch H2O though? Have you seen H2O? I have not, no. Oh um, my gosh. Dev. What is H2O? It is a it is a TV show. It's an Australian TV show about mermaids. Oh. Okay. And it was like, yeah. I think it's more a my generation thing, but it was like the What do you mean, Grace? The what show. Is what does it say? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, the whole R and R clear. That's from that's from H2O. The condensation. Yeah, that's H2O. Okay. And it was I like that every though. Yeah, it was like every little girl's favorite show. Cause there were mermaids and it was mm. great. Yeah. Yeah. Grace, would you call yourself Gen X? Would I call myself Gen X? Mm. I'm I mean I'm technically Gen Z. Sorry, Gen Z, so. that's what I meant. Sorry, Gen Z, Gen Z. Obviously, you're not yeah. Gen X. <laughs> um, I'm kind of, yeah, I'm a cusper. I'm like a, what do they call it? A zillennial? I'm a zillennial. A zillennial. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm like on the high, I'm on the upper point of the uh, Gen Z. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there we go. This is for Dane. Who has asked me for my favorite quote and I have written it down. So Dane, that one is for you. All right. I feel like we're on a roll. Um, I am a 98 baby. Yes. 98? Wow. 98. I was born in 98. Yep. Oh, <laughs> good on you, mate. No, oh, good on you. You know? Like, nice. It's a good year, you know? It's a good year. It's the year after Titanic came out. <laughs> came I, I, That's I, true. I, Yes. What the fuck? I. Oh my god. How do you say out in Australia? Oi. Out. Out. Oi. Came Ooh, out. I don't know. Dodgy. No, that's going territory. southern. Oh my gosh. It's mixing with Bali now. Yeah. Okay. This next. Yeah, one's ninety-eight okay. is Gen Z, but it's like on the upper. I think ninety-six is the the cusp. I'm not sure. It's gone up and down over the years. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of 98 babies in this chat, which is hilarious. Is so old. <laughs> um, okay, Cammy wants me to make this look like a Valentine's Valentine's Day card, but make it seem like they wrote it. That's such a cool prompt, Cammy. I'm just thinking how to do this. I there was actually, just... hold on, someone sent me a Valentine's Day card with Lazelle, and I forgot to share it with you. So now I gotta I see think... if I can find it. All right, obviously. Go on. I think I'm gonna write like roses are red, violets are blue, you're an ish chick. 
that's it. Because they Zell wouldn't get like how it how to do the rhyme, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know. What do you think, Grace? You're an itch You're chick. An itch I mean, smell I mean... Like glue. <laughs> <laughs> You're an itch chick. And smell like one to... too. And smell like one too. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but make it seem like Lazel wrote it. I can you like like jangly writing. Um, yeah. How would Lazel write? Okay, I'm gonna do. I don't think Lazel would write it. it. This isn't my writing. This is Lazel's writing. Okay. And also, she wouldn't really know like how to. Hmm. Oh, I don't gosh. know if I'm gonna have space for the whole rhyme. Oh, your sweat is intoxicating. I do like that. Your sweat is intoxicating. No, I'm gonna write two cami. I love your sweat. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> two cami. I, no, I'm just going to write two cami. I, rivers run red, rivers flow blue. No, blood runs red, rivers flow blue. You're an ish chick and smell like one too. There we go. Okay, I've, this is what I've written, Grace, because I don't have that much space. I've written, I love your sweat, ish chick. Like this. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh i'm trying i don't know if any of you if the rats are in the uh the chat send me the um lazel valentines please and we'll share it with the group <laughs> grace do you know what i love about this is that you're basically like taylor swift you've got your own your crush or mine my own <laughs> Marauder Cat, you just made me. I love that. that up. Um, <laughs> yeah, Grace, you, you're actually the switch. You've got your own army. Yeah, they're my yeah, pirate that's... crew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Mint Leaf is here. Mint Leaf, if you can find me um, the Lazel Valentine's Mint card. Always, yeah. Mint Leaf? Yes, Mint, Mint Leaf is Mint always here. <laughs> it wouldn't be a stream without Mint Leaf. That's true. Player Hannah, I just see asterisks. So I'm not sure what you were trying to say, but I cannot see it, unfortunately. <laughs> I need to turn off okay. my swearing this filter, I guess. Next one is for Wuta. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, I don't know if I am, but I will, I will show oh, it's, you yeah. what I have done. Um, Okay. I've got these new Sharpies are so damn good. So good. I just did a signature on Lazel's rock hard abs on this. Stunning work. Stunning work. Here we go. Utah. Yeah, she's got, she's got good abs on this. Um, okay. I have not, I think Zaf made it mint. No, sorry, player hand. If player hand, if you're in a um, shardy party, you can send it in there, and I should be able to see it. You can't send links in the chat, unfortunately. Can you not? Yeah. No, because people post weird stuff, so oh, far enough. we just have it turned off. Okay, this next one is from Mike Michael. You're gonna get a classic. Michael, I'm just going to sign it and I'll show it to you. God, this is a lot easier than the first time I did this. I was so like, it was so hard to concentrate on doing two things, but now I feel like I'm getting the hang of it. Um, there you go, Michael, that is your print. All right. Done. Yeah, we're definitely not going to get through them all tonight. <laughs> I've got over... <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't even tell you actually over how many I've got a lot. So um, we will, we will, we will continue. I would for sure do them this coming week, but um, uh, we won't do them all tonight. But fear not, they will all be signed because I think somebody was like, "Oh, mine's being signed off the camera." The only ones that were signing off camera are the ones for the ones that I'm doing with Jen and Aliana. Those ones are signed off camera because obviously it's hard for us to all be in the same place at the same time to do them. But um, all the ones that you guys have ordered um, this time around, I'm signing on camera. Um, 
So yeah. Uh, okay, this is for Matthew Cole, the source of my bruises. Classic Matthew. I'm surprised that the Aussies <laughs> are just not dropping off like the fan base because I'm butchering your accent. I'm sorry for it. I'm doing it in an endearing way. I actually really love Aussies, but I just I just love doing the accent. So I hope that people like it too. Okay, we have what is Deb's favorite chocolate from her chocolate box from the last stream? I'm so glad you reminded me. Um, that chocolate box, well, it's looking very thin on the ground right now, but um, I probably, there's a there's like a, a praline one. That's probably my favorite, but they were all mm. really good. Uh, only, only kind of the shitty ones left now. So like, I don't like white chocolates. So I've left all those. Um, I'm trying to follow it, up, follow it up to various people that maybe really that's it. Um, but in fact, in a minute, I'm going to pour myself a glass of wine. I'm going to have a chocolate, Grace. You know? Yeah. I deserve it. Oh, a little chocolate break. A little chocolate break, yeah. Chocolate and wine. <laughs> Someone says okay. niche, but does Deborah have... Yeah, let's let's see it first. This is Matthew's, Matthew's one. Yeah. Oops. Yeah. Um, yeah, go on, Grace. Does Deborah have any dream roles for theater? Ooh, good question. Um, do you know what? I, I don't think I have any dream roles, like, full stop, because um, I just like roles that are really well written um, in the sense of, like, they're interesting, they're complex, they give you a lot to play with as an actor. I think you want to play, like, range and, and like, play with all different kinds of emotions. Um, having said that, one of my favourite <clears throat> things that I've ever seen in the theatre and that I will forever remember to this day is Angels in America at the National Theatre in London. It's yeah. really long. Like part one is like four hours and part two is like three hours. Um, but it was hands down. It had um, Andrew Garfield in the main role and it was hands down one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. And if I was ever to be in something like that, I would just, I would just die happy. Um, it's really sad because it's so hard to get into theatre in, in the UK. It's almost like the reverse. Like I think before you started in theatre, I mean, it was really hard to get into TV and film, and now it's like the other way round. It's easier mm. to get into film and TV, but it's and then it's really and then you get into theatre like if you are a name. But in the yeah. olden days, or not even in the olden days, but like when you know say in the 50s and 60s they used to have like rep theatres that that's how actors would start so it'd be more like a um a career progression so you'd go to drama mm -hmm. and then you'd go into rep theatre um and then you'd start doing like that whereas now it's like super unstructured and it's yeah it's really hard to get into theatre which is a shame because theatre is a whole different thing um yeah it's it's a whole different piece but it's such a but it's like it's like a buzz like nothing else like a drug it's just, um, yeah, is really, yeah, it's just incredible the buzz you get from it. So that's that's pretty that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, um, I'm signing this next print for Abby, who says, "I love your work as Lady Zell. I would like a surprise on the print." In that case, Abby, I'm just going to show you. Well, I'm going to write to Abby and then show you it, and then I'm not going to actually show you what. Here we go. Abby it says to Abby, "I'm not going to show you what I've actually written on it." So. Hmm, Abby, what kind of surprise? Hmm, okay. All right, I've got a surprise for Abby. <laughs> okay, our next question is, I don't, okay. Question for Dev, how does hiring voice actors work? Like, for example, for an indie project. Have you um, done indie projects? Have I done indie projects? Um, I don't think so. I've auditioned for lots of indie projects. I don't think I've got any of them, though. Uh, let me think. Maybe I have. But no, most of the things that I, I've done haven't been indie projects, but yes, I have auditioned for, for indie projects. Though to be fair, to be fair, I 
I haven't, I don't know most of the things that I audition for. So um, I, for some of it, it's clear that it's an indie project and for other things it won't say. In fact, for 99% of the stuff that I audition, um, that I audition for, um, I, it's not clear what it's for. So um, how, do, how do people hire voice actors? Um, so I believe that you would probably, I don't know what your role is um, if you're a game developer. I guess you, so in London, there's various studios that handle like everything there and so the like the production in sense of like the casting the directing and stuff um that's all I really I can speak to so for example for um Baldur's Gate um we had um Pitstop Productions who were like Larian's kind of partner in London and they cast us um and stuff obviously with Larian's approval and everything like that like it was a collaborative thing but then in in the London side we were working um a lot with Pitstop who did that kind of that side of things and then directing and all of that stuff so um and then the, the studio kind of handles everything so they they get in touch with our agents um we get called in for auditions or not called in we do them not by the auditions and then that's how it happens i'm not too sure from your perspective how that would happen but i think that most um game developers seem to use this sort of one-stop shop um studio that handles everything at least that's how it's done in the uk um, I guess if you're an indie or if you're limited by budget, again, I'm not quite sure how it would work. Um, but that's, that's how I, you know, that's how everything works from my end. Yeah, I think, like, I might have more yeah, perspective of, exactly. <laughs> on the yes. indie front. But um, I think it kind of depends on, again, what your budget is, because there's, you can be an indie game and, like, have four hundred thousand dollars in funding or you can be an indie game and be working in your backyard you know exactly. um so like i know a few indie companies who have just kind of put a call out on twitter being like hey we're looking for um this is for you Devin, know, by the way take a, Devin. take a look Devin. yes um hey we're looking for voice actors this is the rate we're gonna pay you know please submit um, whereas other ones obviously will kind of reach out to a um, casting director and say, hey, we're looking for these roles. Can you please help us? But again, it, it fully just depends on budget. Um, so I'd say if you're a voice actor and you're looking to like get into indie games, see if you can figure out who the casting director was on like some of the larger indie games and maybe just send them information be like i think neil actually did this he sent um yeah hit stop he was like hey this is my reel i'm you know if there's any projects coming up please let me know i'd you know love to be considered and he's now won an award so you know there you go. again it's all about it's all about networking so yeah it's all about networking in any industry to be honest which yeah. is i don't know i i um i get frustrated by that sometimes and a bit like yeah. down about it but <laughs> It, it and then but then part of me thinks like do you know what you have to play the game you have to play the game um especially with this industry so if networking is the way to go around it and you know to do it to go about it then you know that's what you have to do and you know similar to grace's story at the beginning i know it's like we joke and we joke about it but actually she fucking grabbed it by the balls took the opportunity and now here we are and you know i'm not saying like oh the mighty death has given grace this like undeniable opportunity but you know we've made a connection we've built a friendship on top of that and like it just if if you don't even try you'll never know and i think a lot of people um fall at the first hurdle they're not even confident enough to try so i think that's that's the most important thing try try and then at least you know that um at least you know that you've tried and you can never look back and kick yourself um think you know and be like well i never even tried what's that quote you, you miss 100 percent of the shots you don't take so yeah i think that's a really good thing to live by um happy birthday to jamie by the way um this next one is um happy birthday oh, let me just finish it um it's a birthday gift to jamie so um i've just i've just written a little happy birthday message here i'm just gonna sign it and then i will show it Oh, my airports keep falling out. Wayne Gretzky. Yep. It's a hockey quote. 
Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. There you go, Jamie. Happy birthday. All right. Okay, that's there. All righty. I wonder if I can get through all yeah. the VIP Reach points out to people. tonight. Make connections. <gasps> Exciting. Ah, okay. uh, what else? <laughs> Will you guys drop your skincare routines? <laughs> Is the next on the oh list. My God. I've talked about retinol before. Grace, do you have anything to add? <laughs> I'm I'm probably a horrible person to ask because I use soap, but I use fancy French soap that is like yes. handmade, you know. But I use I use um I don't know what it is in English. It's citron vervien in French. Um, I guess I can Google it. But because I used to have horrible cystic acne. And that was like the first thing that actually did anything for my skin. So, Grace, do you use Lucky in English? We're gonna translate. I don't. I use Caudalie. That's like my go-to oh, brand. Is Caudalie La Roche Posay as well? Oh, La Roche Posay. That's good. Um, <laughs> Grace knows me. French. <laughs> this one's to Mia, by the way. Erwin, yes, thank you who asked for uh you're the source of my joy and so are you mia so are you um yeah i i, I have to say okay people are not going to like this answer but um i will say this for skincare sometimes it's going to sound uh, it's going to be a lot about your your genes and uh what you've inherited from whoever from your parents um and, and yeah. so, you know uh you can do all you like and put all stuff on your face, but if you have, um, you know, if you have like acne in your family, sometimes that obviously gets passed on and stuff. So I think yeah. skincare is great. And I think now we're in, like when I was growing up, obviously there was no TikTok, there was no Instagram, there was nothing. Um, so I kind of just did what I could and whatever. But I can't be like, oh, I use this skin hair and that's why my face is like that. No, it's not, it's not because of that yeah. necessarily. I try, I, I, I think sunscreen is very important. Um, I wear sunscreen every day, like back to 50, even though I live in fucking UK, which is hysterical. But there's uh, still sun though. You still get sun still exposure. Sun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, but aside from that, you've just got good, you know, good jeans and wash your face and don't fall asleep in your makeup, which I did a lot while I was at uni, lots of late nights. Yeah. Um yeah. And and drink water, I think that and there's like cliche stuff, but I do think drinking water and um, washing your face and wearing sunscreen are probably the three most effective things you can do. Yeah. Yeah. It's one of those things too. I feel like, especially with all of social media, you hear a lot of people be like, oh, this is, this has solved all of my problems. And yeah. it's like this 400 euro product. Do not buy that stuff, guys. If you need to figure out what works for you, you know, because skincare is so personal. And so something that works for someone else is not going to work for you. If it does, Absolutely. great. That doesn't mean that there's like one product that's going to work for everyone. And, you know, I, cause yeah, I had horrible acne. I still have like, you can't really see it on camera cause I have a bright light in my face, but I still have like spots um, in places. And like, it took me 15 years worth of trying different things, you know, to get to a point where I'm like comfortable with my skin. And sometimes that's just, yeah, it's trial and error. Yeah, you just yeah, have to trial and error, I agree. figure it out, you know? So. This one is for Sarah, who asked for a doodle of laser sword. Um, I, okay, it's not as, as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to look rather phallic, but, um, <laughs> but uh, it's actually not too bad. So that's. Really, I think it looks good. That's for you, Sarah. Thanks. <laughs> oh. oh, Lord. Okay. Oh my gosh. What else? do we have if you could add any additional lazelle content to the game what would it be eg what do you think she would be doing in like 10 years after the game yeeting bing bong from every single plane or striking up or she she'll have adopted bing bong and they'll be living a beautiful life somewhere together you know? yeah they sell on Bing Bong spin off. Le Bong. 
I mean, I can tell you, Bing Bong Valley. Bing Bong has two lesbian parents who may or may not Love be it. inspired by two characters. Oh. So there we go. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Do with that information what you will. What are you talking will. about here? <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what else do we have? Um, when and if you share your work with Babe Zell, what order would you want to share it in? What? Come again? Sorry? <laughs> Sorry when you share, fun. like when you sit Babe Zell down and is like, I'm an actor, here's what I've done. Mm. <laughs> what would you, what would you show first? Well, I can tell you what I, well, no, no, actually I'm not going to say that on the street. Um, <laughs> No, I did. No, actually, I'm going to say because it's, it's a great film, um, but probably not one I would share with with Babe Zell first. I did this film where I played a sex robot, and it's actually so well made. I know a few people have seen it already, um, but it's so, it's so clever and it's so funny. Um, but probably that's that would I probably keep that further down the timeline. Um, what would I share first? Oh, I don't know. Um, probably Baldur's Gate. Yeah, why not? Why not? It's funny. Although, yeah, I don't know by the time she's like old enough to understand the concept of an actor. Are video games even going to be around? No, that's the joke. Obviously they are. Um, but that's a really good question. I don't know. I don't know that I can order my projects, you know. I think that, um, I think I kind of, I really like them all equally. So it's hard for me to pick like which one I'd say about, like talk about first and which one I wouldn't. They're all great. They're all so different. Yeah. So I'm writing some inspirational words for Natalie here. <laughs> uh, let's see. Wow. Hey, we have a raid. Wow. Welcome wow. in, raiders. Raider alert. Wow. Give you a little wow. shout out here. Raider How's you guys' alert. stream? Okay, Natalie, I have written you some words of inspiration. Um, oh my gosh. That's for you, Natalie. And Natalie, hello. Natalie, Waffle yeah. Cat. I think Natalie's in the chat. Dino, 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 she is, yes. My dance. Let's see. Was the Lazel Valentine about the smell? Possibly. I don't. <laughs> I don't remember to be honest. <laughs> what? Wait for the Dino Dance to end. Should I get? I'll see if the cat will Dino Dance. I want to see that? Oh, she's not happy. No. This is a different cat. But say hello. Oh, this is Lucy. Is it? This is, yeah. This is a, this is Lucy. This is fighter number two, or fighter number one. I don't remember which fighter it is. But uh, this is another cat that just randomly comes into my house. Do so you just have cats like literally visiting you all the time, all day long? Yeah, pretty okay. much. Yeah. Does does Lucy purr in French? Yes. Oh, Lucy. Um, this one is for Eric. Uh, thank you, Laser. Absolutely love Laser's companion. Thank you, Eric. I don't, is that better than one? Yes. Eric. All right. Just making sure I've written your number on the back, Eric. That is perfect. Okay. <laughs> the next one is for Ian. What are you giggling about, Grace? I'm just reading all the cat comments. Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna put on my uh, my poncho because it's getting it's getting cold out there. Please do, Grace. In yonder mountains. <laughs> okay, let's put the poncho on, guys. <laughs> Vest is coming off. Poncho is going on. This was very dramatic last time, though. It didn't I go remember. on right. <laughs> Wait, other way. Other way. <laughs> I don't 
don't know how I messed that up so badly. PG show. <laughs> Where am I at? Easy, Tiger. Um, this one is for Ian Okay. Wolf, who wanted uh, Jacques Van there and that is on there for you. Grace, you look stunning. Grace, I love it. I love it. This is my <laughs> sorry, sorry for everyone who saw my my boobies in the chat there. <laughs> Grace, we're gonna get oh on YouTube. I know. Oh. This is my. I'm going into cozy mode though. Fun fact: it, there's Grace. actually a shirt I really wanted to wear today, but my, I like had full tits out, and I was like, you know what? I don't want to have tits out on camera. But it looks like I've done it anyways. So, mm. there we go. Next time. Okay, I'm going to need help with this next one. This next one is for Andy, who is a loyal tab and forever Jacques Bonash do. I'm guessing you want me to write that on the thing, because it says make it out to Andy. Okay, I will write that down then, Andy. Andy wants, um, sign it off with Lazelle's idea of a warm regards. That's so good. Okay, what about um, what about dubious wishes? No. Ah. Okay, Grace. While I write down this bit, please keep me posted on the ideas that chat come up with because that's a funny prompt. Okay, chat. Let's let's hear some prompts. So the prompt again. Auspicious. Is warmest Lizelle's regards. Idea of a warm regards. Warmest regards, more like coldest remarks. <laughs> That's all we got so far. Dubious was it? Dubious wishes, yeah. I like auspicious. Your stink is lessening. Have the day you deserve, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good one. <laughs> in blood and war, may your blade always find purchase in your foes. Astral greetings. Okay. I tolerate may, you. <laughs> may you have the day you deserve. Is that that was good? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna do that one. With all regards, I can muster. <laughs> <laughs> These are good yeah, ones, yeah, folks. I hope, you, I hope you like this. I do like Have the Day You Deserve. That's that's really funny. Um, <laughs> there you go, Andy. This one's for you. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. Did you raid again? How did you raid right again? <laughs> I'm confused by how that's happening. Welcome in, guys, for another time. Welcome in, Raiders. Wait, is it the same Raiders? It's the same raid, yeah. Oh. We got a dino dance going, too. Okay, this next one is to Annabelle. Um, something in the vein of Lazelle. Absolutely. Um... Time loop shenanigans crazy that was the last dino dance ooh interesting we're having bot issues here oh that's alright it happens okay this is for you Annabelle I'll put something in the vein of Lizelle I hope that you like it Classic Rizal quote. Okay. Okay, this is for May your inadequacies not hinder your duties. That's a good oh, that's one, too. Good. This is for yeah. Kat, a.k.a. Susabark, which is just hysterical. Absolutely hysterical. And I am making it to Kat in brackets, Susabark. I hope you're here, Kat. Um, <laughs> it's a great name. <laughs> So oh, the bots yeah. come crawling after Dev mentioning a sex robot movie. Not a coincidence. Oh. Uh oh. It's not far along. Don't worry about it. It's um. Oh, shall I meet? Sister Brack is here. Yeah. Possibly. 
I'm going to mute myself. I don't know how to do that. Okay. Um, that's a good question. <laughs> oh, does it at the bottom of the? Wow, that there didn't match. Cool. Oh wait, wait, wait! Did that wake my baby up? Oh no, please say no. Okay, um, cat Susabark, Sus cat, you're here, aren't you? <laughs> that fire alarm ruined my joke. What they are here. Joke? Yes, they're here. Hey, Susabark. Uh, let me scroll back up. Bots come crawling back after Dev mentioned a sex robot movie. Not a coincidence. Is this the bot that does the, the dino dance? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Good one. Well done. Well done. Um, this is yours, cat. You Susa bark you. This stream is fire. Thank you so much. This stream it's is very it's a, relaxed. It's a cozy fire. Stream. It's a fire. It's a fire you warm yeah. your you warm your fingers on. You know, it's not a it's not a loud stream today because you know it's evening and I'm tired. Um, as you all know, I get tired in the evenings, just like normal people. Um, and, uh, yeah. But probably, I think, for the time being, um, we're probably going to st stick to our Wednesday afternoon slot of streaming, Grace, um, if that's okay with you. Because it seems yeah. to work fairly well. It's a good one. Yes. It's just quite, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's an easy one for me to do then. And... Um, and then I can shout as much as I want, can't I? That's also true. Yes. Yeah. So this one is for Angela. Um, something to remind me that everything's going to be okay. Oh, Angela. Okay. I'm sorry you've had a rough start to the year. Um, but, okay, something to remind you that everything's going to be okay. Okay, I will... Um, okay, I will write something. <laughs> Way less Europeans on the Wednesday stream. Are we anti-Europeans? <laughs> what's what, what's happening in the chat here? Are we? What fair? Kind of we have less Americans too, because it's like three a.m. So well, you say that, but then when you look at the um, stream stats, it actually says that like most of the people watching are from. There's America, still so. yeah, there's still a lot of them. How can you get one of the prints? You can go, I will link Streamly here in the chat. And if you purchase one before the end of the stream, we will, or Dev, <laughs> will make sure to sign it. Yes. Um, if you purchase one before the end of the stream, I probably won't sign it on this stream, but I will be signing more next week. So all of the ones that get yes. purchased this time around are going to be signed on camera. I think last time I did a certain amount on camera and then some off camera, but this time we're doing it all on camera. Because um, I think that if you buy a print, you just deserve to see it on the stream. And that's nice for you. Um, so this is uh, for Angela. Um, Angela, I called you initiative, but it's made, it's meant in the nicest way possible. So I hope that Angela, you here. Let me know. Um, <laughs> let me know. When is the Dev Grace Dynamic Duo print available? Wow. <laughs> so glad you asked. So glad you asked. Because... Um, that's something that I think about. It's yeah, I'm wondering if well, would people be interested in a stream like that? I mean I, I I think I know the answer. I, think I know the answer to that. Um but we are we are thinking about that for the next for the next one. Sound so, sound off in the chat. <laughs> so yeah, let us know if you if you're keen because we will um we can we can potentially make that happen. We just need to see some um we need to see some good Dev and Grace artwork to commission. Yeah. Okay. So this next one is for Jay. <laughs> Jay wants a trick. Jay, you get that as as by default, Jay. Do you know what I mean? Like that is just your. That is always the way. I can't believe I never saw the trick on the um. On the on her clothing, on Lazelle's clothing here. That's so funny. Um, but this one is yours, Jay. Okay. 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 
okay, we've got a couple of full length ones. Let's see. Grace, I think I have, yeah, no, go on. I think I'm going to pour myself like a, the tiniest drop of wine, you know? Yeah. yeah. Go for it. I am. Oh, God, I thought I was going to get a little plus like Grace sleep over. <laughs> oh, no, maybe I will. I'll say, Hold on. we've gone through quite a bit, I think. Yeah, because I I do the VIP ones first because obviously they like paid to have their print signed priority. Um, oh, I think I will get through the VIPs, yeah, and then we'll probably leave the rest to the next stream. But I'm gonna I'm going to go and get myself a little one. Um, Did wine, someone say and I so will, it begins? I'll hold down the no, <laughs> I'm just getting myself a little nightcap. Stop it. A little tiny. Yeah. Can you alternate the Wednesday and Saturday streams? Um, there generally isn't a Saturday stream. This is like um just because, um, this is because I'm signing stream reprints. I could do a stream on Saturday evenings, but I'm not. Look, I'm gonna be real with you. I'm I've got a young baby, and by the time it gets to like eight p.m. on a Saturday, I literally just want to get into bed and I want to sleep until the end of time. So. That's the problem. Whereas on a Wednesday afternoon, I'm feeling a bit more like with it. But we can we can see what we can do. See what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna go and get myself a little vino. Does it get easier with an old baby? I feel like from the time they're born to like 13, it's just chaos constantly. <laughs> oh my gosh, what all? How's it going, guys? Now's our awkward Grace is left alone moment where I sit here. <laughs> have I showed you guys my cat picture? I feel like I have showed you the cat picture before. This is a cat picture that I purchased for two euro. <laughs> Grace, what's the one on the left? That's really funny, Grace. <laughs> Yeah, you can't see it. <laughs> Let me like. <laughs> what a wonderfully large drop! People are saying, "Cheers, guys!" Cheers. <laughs> there we go. Grace, I can't. Grace, there's your picture. Say, I can't drink on my own. Grace. Oh my gosh. Let me. Let me see what I have. Come on. <laughs> I gotta see what I have open. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna do this next one out to Krishna. Um, hi Deb, thank you for bringing life to Lazel. She's a forever favorite because of your performance. Can you do a doodle, write or write what you feel like? I will, I will not do a doodle. <laughs> Krishna, since you're giving me the choice of doing a doodle or writing, I'm gonna write, my, write one of my favorite quotes because my doodles, as you've seen from tonight, if you're here, um, or if you watch this on the replay, um, my doodles are absolutely terrible. So I'm gonna write what I feel like. Um, um, okay. Is Grace pouring herself a drink? <laughs> I'm back, I'm back. We have a ladron de manzanas. A what now, Going Grace? cider. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling wine tonight, yeah, Grace, so we're going cider. cider. You really like cider, don't you? I do, yes. Okay, Krishna, so, this one is for you. Here we go. Okay. See if I can get it open. I have the world's weirdest freaking bottle opener. Okay. Oh my gosh. The next one is for Andy. There we go. Got it. That's some this looks like it could kill someone right there. This is like a hardcore. Oh, you can't see it. There we go. Cheers, very Grace. strange. This, <laughs> cheers. cheers to our non-drinking stream. Woo. <laughs> num, 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 Grace, num. when I meet you in real life, I just I'm, we're gonna we're gonna be just hugging and drinking. Probably, yeah. <laughs> yep. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that as well. I, yes, apple cider is great. I'm not a big, um, I don't like hard alcohol, but wine, apple cider, great stuff. <laughs> it it kind of does look like a weapon, doesn't it? It's very, 
very uh, bizarre. Okay, this one was for Andy, who wanted an ish tick and also a basil. So you have both there. <laughs> Someone says either that's a tiny bottle or Grace is considerably taller <laughs> than I <laughs> expected. <laughs> I think it's probably both. Um, yeah. This is quite a small bottle, but I am also 178. So I am tall. Yes. Or 5'10 for the Americans You're in the group. 5'10? I am. Wow. Yes. Yes. Nice. You're taller than me. I know. Well, I I'm like, I'm like, I'm like I give off I'm short upset. energy. Everyone, <laughs> everyone thinks I'm really tiny, which I find hilarious because I'm never not. Thought you were but really I give tiny. off short energy. But it's hard to tell when someone's sitting, and I've only ever seen you sitting. You know. That's true. Yeah, that's true. But I like I'm missing tall girls. a tassel, guys. You like tall girls? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm with, missing I was a tassel. This, this thing yesterday with my baby, who's a girl. And um, and she is tall for her age, and I think she is gonna be a tall girl. She's wearing clothes for like three months above her age, um, but it's yeah. But she's so cute, little cutie, little cutie. <laughs> um, okay, Emma, can I please do one of my favorite Lizelle lines and a little doodle? What is your guys' obsessions with doodling? I honestly don't know. Um, Okay, uh, one of my favorite lace outlines. lines. Um, okay, um, okay, let's do this one. All right, I'm going to do the oh lace gosh, why is everyone like so surprised? <laughs> yes, I'm 5'10". The last time I, I mean, I might be taller. I don't know. I feel like I'm taller, but I haven't actually measured myself, so... But do you know why it's so surprising, Grace? It's because I think most of the time, and it must be the same for you, when I meet other girls, um, they are usually a lot smaller than me. And so I just assume that everybody's, like, short, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, because I'm, That's like, fair. and obviously you're above average tall. I'm, I'm like, a bit above average tall, but not massively. Um, so that's why. Um Emma, I'm, I really apologise. This sword has turned out quite phallically. Um but I hope that you, <laughs> I hope that you still. I think it needs like, like a little, like the hilt. It needs the hilt I've, I've of done the, the hilt. sword. I've done the hilt, but it just looks like I'm not even tell you what it looks like. You can probably imagine. What it looks like. Um. <laughs> All right. Um. This next one is for Gwen. Okay. Gwen, could you write one of my favorite Lizelle quotes? Embrace pride, reject vanity, especially when gazing at your own reflection. Gwen, that was a really great quote. I don't, um, I don't think I've ever written that one for anyone. Um, I don't even want to record that. So perfect. I love it. It's a great, it's a great <laughs> joke's on you. It's not even in the game. <laughs> is it not? No, it probably is. Because she says Lizelle quote. I don't, I don't remember that, but maybe. I have recorded like thousands of lines, so. <laughs> Someone says, going on vibes alone, Grace should be able to fit in my pocket and poke out like a little cutie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh oh. Here we go again. Is this the quote when you interact that, with a mirror? That wakes the baby up. I'm gonna find out. Nope, sleeping like a log. Good. Reject vanity, especially. Amazing. Can somebody actually tell me if this quote is in the game? It must be though. Gwen, Gwen would. Someone make it said tough. it's it's um when you interact with a mirror. Lazelle says it. Mhm. Mm it does. It is a very Lazelle quote. I just don't remember it. Okay, we have, um, can you ask if Dev has ever cocked up an autograph and what the hell to do when it happens? Oh, I have. I'll tell you what you do. Okay, Gwen, this is yours. Um, you, what, what do you do? Oh, fucking hell. You say that. You say, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> um, any time today. 
Okay, you say, oh fucking hell, you swear, and then you tear it up and you and you start again and you do it on a new one. That's what you do. There you go. There's yeah. your answer, folks. Um, yeah. Okay, this <laughs> next one is for James. Chwaikan Zhan. God, people know more Gekenki than me at this point. This is embarrassing, Deb. May your enemies know agony. Is this the quick quote you want, James? It is a good one. I'm going to write it anyway. Your performance gave me a new appreciation of the Gekenki race. Thank you so much for being you. Thank you, James. That's really sweet. Um, I want to know where your uh, amazing master of the Gekenki <laughs> language comes from. Um, that's what I want to know. Okay, I'll write this quote though um, while you guys listen to the um, soundtrack of our fire alarm. Don't worry, it's not a fire, she says. Um, no, it's not. Uh, this happens quite often. Um, I should be able to mute my microphone, Grace. This is going to be annoying for people. If you want to, yeah. Let me see if I can do this. Uh, we got some dino <laughs> dances going on. How is it now? We can still hear you. You can hear me? Damn it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There we go. Yeah. Let me um let me just check what's going on here in our um, little house little building group chat because um Sometimes this does happen quite often. Um, yes, yeah, Summer, hi. More cats on stream. Gotta love that. Did our, I don't know, we used to have summer remotes now, but I don't know if they um, cleared them. <gasps> they did. Guys, look at our little, yeah, we have summer remotes. And we have fire alarms. And fire alarms. Okay, James, I'm gonna write your um I'm gonna write your um quote. I wonder if I can figure out though how to meet um Grace, do you know how to meet this? Yeah, so look at like the very bottom on the left hand side under the layers. Yeah, I see. And you should it. see something called audio mixer. Just like move the thing all the way to oh. the side. Can you hear me now? We can. Yes, <laughs> we can hear you. Okay, give me a second. I'll be right back. All right, folks. <laughs> it did get louder yet. <laughs> I want to know what Babe Zell is on that she can sleep through all of that. Because I think that's rather impressive. Who needs ears? Exactly. Grace question. I don't have any more questions. If you want to ask a question, I can answer one. I don't have any more on the, the list, though. Why Grace lore? I don't even know what I'd bring up at this point. What would you cosplay? Ooh, probably a pirate, right? A pirate would be the answer. I would love to cosplay like, um, ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to, I'll think about it and I'll come back to you guys. What did I have for dinner? I had gnocchi with some, I had p pumpkin gnocchi. It was very good. Can we hear you, Dev? <laughs> your, yeah, your sound is off. No, your, your sound's still off. Do you need to turn the audio mixer back up? No. <laughs> Can you hear us? All right, well, us. Can you hear me? You can hear me. Okay. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry, folks. We're working on it. What did you... Okay, I see a whole bunch of questions about degrees, which that's... Okay, no worries. Do you want... Do you, Dev, would you prefer to leave the camera on or do you want to put it on the... Um... Yeah, okay. <laughs> cool. All right, folks, we're just going to chat for <laughs> a little bit while... Uh... You're going to say bye, okay? Okay. Hold on a moment, chat. <laughs> Bye, Dev. <laughs> Please don't die. That would be really sad. <laughs> Do you want to care? I mean, I I can carry on if you want. Up to you. It's your stream, Dev. I'm just here. I'm just here for the ride. <laughs> Whatever you prefer to do. Do you think you're going to be gone like a long time? Okay. <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> okay. Hello. How's it going? We can see starting in the background. Don't worry about it. Oh my gosh. Okay. There was like a list of questions that definitely just flew past. Let me scroll up. I think someone asked what my degrees were. Um, yeah, here we go. Curious to know what your degrees are. I have four degrees. So I have a, um, start at the bottom. I have a associate's degree in arts and sciences. Um, and then I have a bachelor's degree in global studies a master's degree in international development and another master's degree in business administration. So there you go. <laughs> How'd you feel about a group pirate cosplay at MCM? That would be great. If you show up as a pirate, I will too. There we go. Uh, da -da. Oh my gosh. There's so many messages flying by guys. I will save if you guys have dev questions, feel free to keep sending those too and I'll like I'll write them down. I have a list. Dun dun. How did you both decide what you wanted to do for your careers? Um obviously I can't speak for dev, but I will write that down because I think it's a good question. Um I evidently <laughs> kind of went through multiple careers. So when I was younger, um, I really, really wanted to work with like the UN, the World Bank um, in international politics. Um, and it's something that I still really love and really enjoy, but I just was, it's very, it's a very stressful environment. Um, and there's a lot of education required to work in that field, which is why I have so many degrees. Um, but I've always been a creative and kind of over COVID, I had to question if going down that stressful path was like what I really wanted to do. And I decided it wasn't. So um, I just decided that game devving, game design was something that I had never really thought about before, but it was such a creative industry. And I started looking into it and working on game jams and here we are, so. I'm gonna scroll at the bottom and see like what you guys are saying down here. I think Dev did make a playlist. She, yeah, Dev does have a Lazel playlist. I think I'll see if I can locate it for you guys. But let's see, let's see. There's so many questions. Question for Dev. Let me write that down. How are you guys doing though? How's everyone in the chat? Anyone have any exciting stories they want to share while I write down all these questions? What 
What was your reaction to Luality's Lazelle hiccup? I thought it was great. I thought it was hilarious. I was actually in a call with Dev when that happened. So I was like not fully paying attention. And the next thing I knew, I looked over and Lazelle had died. So that was a, that was kind of funny, but. Oh, let's see. Favorite book. I love the Lord of the Rings. I'm not a huge book reader, to be honest, but the Lord of the Rings, just the whole thing is holds a very close, uh, it's very dear to my heart. So let's see. Let's see what everyone else is up to, though. Going through a career change, getting your third degree, also very exciting. Hanging out in, in stream, printing 3D Chibi Lazelle. Beautiful. I would love to see that. <laughs> Let's see. Got a new parrot. What's your parrot's name? Tell us your parrot's name. Dog is getting groomed. Coming to Europe for a couple months. Also very exciting. You guys got a lot going on. Met Ashley Johnson. That's very exciting. I wish I could meet Ashley Johnson. She seems like a very cool person. Critical role is hiring for community manager. I saw that. Yes, that's also very exciting. I think I looked into it, but it was it was a little higher than what I currently have as like experience. So <laughs> not skills necessarily, but like years required, you know. Let's see. What else is people what else are people up to? We're gonna keep scrolling. Working on your master's application. Good luck. I wish you all of the best there. Oh my gosh. So much going on here. Should we read? You know what we did earlier? I put, if you guys are not aware, before the stream starts, I always do a question of the day. Um, and I put it up on my Twitter and then I link it in the chat. Um, and Today's question, let me see if I can pull it up here. Today's question was, who in the BG3 community has inspired you recently and why? So if you guys want to answer that in the chat, go for it. I see Dev is back too. <laughs> Welcome back. We'll see what Dev has to say. But yes, go ahead and answer that in the question in the chat if you haven't already. And I'll read some of the ones that um see. Wasn't a real fire. Yes. What is the question? The question is, who in the BG3 community has inspired you recently and why? So that was the question of the day. Um, Lady Vercel said, honestly, Dev at the moment. She's maybe a little bit older than me, I think. And she has an infant. I was worried about trying for a baby in my 30s, but she, if she can, so can I, which is awesome. Uh, we have inspired by Kayla the Mess, at Kayla the Mess. Feel free to check her out on Twitter. Best graphics and so inclusive of everyone in the community. We have Steve Jolly who said, people in the Tam Tam Discord server who've gotten me back into streaming. Also exciting. So yeah, if you guys want to add Sam Bayart, also a great choice. <laughs> Dev, are you... Are you back or are you just kind of chilling until the <laughs> sound goes off? You're chilling. All right. <laughs> so everyone wave hi to Dev. <laughs> Got in span. Whoop. Words are hard today. Got inspired by Samantha's community. Love that too. Samantha has a great community. Sam and her It Takes a Village. Sorry, and there, yeah. Sam and there, it takes a village. Uh, All right, yeah, if you want to try and come back. Deborah Wild obviously has inspired people, has inspired me to get back into doing music. Also great. Can we hear you, Deb? <laughs> are, you, are you back? Possibly. Dev is here, folks. She's she's trying to come back. 
Neil and Deborah have inspired me to live more authentically. Also a great thing. Are you back? Maybe? I don't. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We still can't hear you, Dev. You're still, I think you're still muted. Yeah. Look at the, like, the bottom on the left-hand side and make sure that the audio thing is on. Does it, can you, like, see it making noises? No. Okay. Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Okay. If you click um, click on the camera where it says Dev's camera, and then try and change your camera and make sure that the microphone is set because you were using your, your AirPods as the microphone before. Yes. <laughs> see if, we'll see if this works. No, we can't hear you. Okay. <laughs> See, if you click on um, on the left-hand side where it says Dev's camera and then try to change your camera input, at the bottom, it should also show your audio input. Do you want me, do you want me to sign off for you? <laughs> do you want to, wait, 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 let's see, let's see. Do you have your phone on you? Hold on. <laughs> We're gonna, I'm gonna call you, I'm gonna call you. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I can hear you on the call. <laughs> Do you want to just you want to sign off using the phone and I can put you on speaker? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here we go, chat. <laughs> can you guys hear me? Guys, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Wait, I need to mute this. I can hear myself twice. Oh, okay, okay. I, I'm going to go because there's a lot of fire alarms going off. Don't worry, they're not real. Um, we will finish this next week. We will start with James because we didn't finish James's quote. Um, I did try to act it out. Damn it. Um, yeah, so, so I didn't even manage to finish my wine. And also, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Um, yeah, so, so yeah, so, um, and I also realized I have to be up early tomorrow to go to this con. Um, but yeah, so I will see you guys all next week. Um, thank you, Greg, for holding down the front while, you know, holding down the fort, even. Yeah, and, um, either way, yeah. Yeah, don't worry, guys. I, the, the, the the fire isn't real i i know because i've just checked um so don't worry we are all, we are all safe um but uh but yes yeah i've realized it's getting late and uh, i have to be fresh uh, fresh and ready for everybody tomorrow so yeah we will finish doing this uh next week we'll finish the signings we will hopefully have a Borders gate three stream and um yeah thank you so much thank you so much for everyone join us thank you grace for bearing with my technical incompetence 
thank you to our mods and um yeah we will post the schedule for next week soon yes all right all right bye guys bye bye everyone